hi guys this is basan in this tutorial we are going to see how to deploy our microservice in google cloud platform so already we deploy one small microservice in pivotal cloud foundry so that is also platform as service and google cloud also platform as service so now let's see how we can deploy application in gc so already we have lot of microservice in our git link so i am not writing one end to end application i am just downloading one of them and we will deploy the same application in google cloud okay so let's take the same example which we deployed in pivotal cloud foundry okay let me download it just extract it okay now change the artifact name okay let me change it to <coughs> spring gc google cloud same here you see change the description google cloud example to deploy microservice okay now let's import this in our eclipse existing maven project in download click on finish okay application imported successfully let's check what exactly this application is doing so run this as जब एप्लीकेशन इज टेकिंग द अपडेटेड वर्सन जार let's restart again eight zero binding exception port already running ok let me restart terminate ok it's up now on port 8080 let's hit the url the root url is home ok so this is one model when we click on this it's giving us the name give the name hi person welcome to java tiki like this it's giving the message it's just a dummy application ok so same we are going to deploy in our google cloud so let's stop the server and we no need this manifest.yml delete it ok so to work with google cloud we need to follow few steps so first we need to add this app engine maven plugin ok so let's add it you can use the latest version i am using 1.3.1 
okay so add the plugin here then the next we need to go our cloud platform console there we need to create the project and we need to enable the billing and we need to set the app engine the language and the region all those we need to set up there okay so open it <coughs> it opens with my default gmail so let me move to other gmail in which i have the paid account ok let's check the ok fine so now create a project ok uh, let me name it as wish up ok now create it will take few seconds to create the application it's created so go to the project info we need to select the project here and note down this project id note down the project id ok so now before do any setup first let me check the billing and all I have this free credit and uh, I provided my credit card details so if anyone want to enable this billing you must have to provide your credit card but don't upgrade this account else they will deduct money from your account ok so now let's choose the environment ok choose the language in which you want to develop your application let me refresh to java then set the region ok i am selecting here asia northeast again it will take few seconds rotating here so it's creating taking so much time ok meanwhile let's follow the other step success so you can check your project id and all regarding your project number ok this is your project id and project number project name ok so now let's move to the second step we need to install our google cloud sdk ok to install google cloud sdk use this link i will share this link in this video description ok as we are using window so we need to click this cloud sdk installer for window ok once you click one zip file will be download then extract that you will found the google cloud sdk and install that so as i already installed so i am not going to reinstall again ok so now 
<coughs> we need to set our project in cloud environment ok so we have a command google cloud config set project and give your project id ok updated property so now check whether this project is configured on the same cloud account or not config list yep this is the account and this is the project id and this is the disable users reporting one and your active configuration ok so now to work with google cloud we need to provide the environment which we are using and the jdk version and all we need to provide to google cloud so that he will create a environment for us so to understand that we need to provide a yml file that is app.yml file so create a folder here with name same name we need to follow app engine so that when we will run our application google cloud will read first this folder ok app engine finish then here create a yml file ok that is app.yml ok then just mention these properties the runtime and the JDK ok app engine we did we configure in SDK what else we left let's check ok fine we did uh, all the setup now let's run our application ok now in build spring boot run is taking the command line interface default one one small change we need to do here as we are going to deploy it in different environment so we need to provide one default url with slash so let it be slash only ok so we added dev tools it will auto restart now refresh it now give a maven build to deploy this application in app engine so this command is also easy like app engine deploy ok so now deploy it it will repackage and uh, it will add the wire so bunch of step it will do so it will take good amount of time it depends on the internet connection uh, any error it's showing like app engine app.yml not found ok let's refresh this application once again ok and let's update it so now rerun the app engine deploy let's see 
now it read now it is internally running the command google cloud app deploy so it will take bunch of time it will follow some step so and this is our url so still the deployment is not completed it will build step it will take few minute again step 1 digest new from google app is in open jdk so we need to wait few minute so it's up now so you can check lot of process internally cloud did to deploy this in app engine so this is our url let's hit this url this is deployed in cloud and we are accessing through cloud url not our localhost url so click on wish me enter good name santosh okay hi santosh welcome to java tech ki so like this type one more x y z hi x y z like this <coughs> it's working and uh, we are accessing it through our cloud environment okay so as i am using free version i will make up this application for 1 and 2 hour then after that i will shut down this application if anyone want to access please use this url and test it okay and this all deployment process will take minimum 3 to 5 minute and it depends on internet connection so we need to wait until the deployment is not done okay that's it about this particular video if anyone have any concern or any issue you can add a comment in video section and uh, those who not subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe it thanks for watching this video